Everybody ready? Ready, Bobby? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first thing I want to do is just, uh, I don't know what the situation is going to be here at Bradley and, and uh, who they may hire at, as athletic director, but um, I know uh, Gino and his crew and this team has not won as many games as they'd like to in this year or past couple, but uh, you're not going to hire a better coach uh, than Gino Ford. You're not going to hire, hire a better person uh, than Gino Ford. Um, and uh, everybody knows that in this league, how good this guy is a coach. And uh, given the opportunity, and I hope he is, uh, to continue coaching here, I uh, just want to say that because I, I, I've talked to him and I consider him a friend. And uh, sometimes young guys make mistakes. You know, you recruit and and, and research as much as you can. Some guys make, sometimes they make mistakes and our bigger job is to, is to teach them how to be better young men and life lessons and uh, not just compete on the basketball floor. So I just wanted to say that um, and uh, I hope whoever they hire an athletic director uh, makes the, the right decision. Uh, as far as this game, uh, was ugly, but I couldn't be happier. Uh, from where we were at Christmas, sitting there at four and eight, um, got picked six to start the year, are everybody doubting us and, and these guys stuck with each other. Um, uh, we're not a finished product by any means and we got some young guys and we still make mistakes and, and, and do things like that but uh, we did enough to win today in, a, in a, an emotional game and a win that we wanted. We wanted to earn uh, that third seed and third place. We didn't want to have to rely on someone else winning and I just commend our guys and I'm really happy for our two seniors. Greg, uh Winning time down the stretch is probably when it finally came together for you guys. You know, just talk about, you know, some of the offensive execution got a little bit better in the last couple of minutes and certainly some of the defensive uh, execution did it. Yeah, you know, you, you, when you're going against teams that switch defenses sometime, it, it gets you out of your rhythm and you stand there and kind of look and it gets you passive more than anything else. Um, and Devontae's beaten up and, and he just, he gutted it out tonight. He, he is really, he can hardly walk. Um, and other than Christian, Christian's two turnovers there when he gets to five to eight feet, you know, running stuff for him, we have good offensive players. Um, we have a lot of guys that can score the basketball, so we we're, we're, should be tough to guard for the most part. The biggest thing for us is moving it, you know, and, and when they change defenses a little bit, it got us a little out of it, a little quick, forced some things here and there. Um, but, uh, you know, we had a couple bad spurts of play in there, but. Uh, I just I commend the guys for doing enough. They, they had a lot on their shoulders there today with what, what, the, what was at stake for us. Bradley did switch defenses a lot, but the common, I guess, theme in whatever they were going with is they did clog the middle quite a bit. And how yeah. difficult does that make it to kind of get the ball movement you want and kind of be inside, outside? It, it, it should allow you to move the ball better on the perimeter because they're not guarding them. And they, they, you should come. The people, everybody comes at Devontae when he's driving and doing those things. And, um, you know, we wanted to... We tried a little bit with our high-low, a little bit to go inside, and, and they were congesting it. Um, you're only five for 17 from three. You know, if you make a few of those, maybe the lead lengthens a little bit and you win a little more comfortably. Uh, Bradley's well coached, and they're they're doing whatever they have to do to try to win a game, and they they about did. Uh, we just we we just made enough plays and made our free throws down the stretch. Um, as an offensive player, I think the biggest thing you have to share the basketball and be unselfish, because and, and you're gonna get good shots. T.J. Bell has played, giving you lots of energy off the bench all season long, but particularly over the last stretch of games. Uh, and he did again today. You know, it's kind of a contribution that can get overlooked. You know, with some of the scores and the starters. But you know, how how important is his energy that he's bringing uh, to the table when he comes in? It's huge because of the minutes those guys play, um, and it's huge um, for our future. You know, we lose Justin and and, and Kitch, so. Hopefully that light continues to stay on with TJ. He has gifts that you can't teach. And I'm hard on TJ as hard as anybody that we have because I have high expectations for him. He's grown a lot uh, since he's been at our place, but he has a lot more to go. Uh, we have to be able to rely on him uh, in the future, the next couple of years, like we re can rely on Kitch and Justin. Uh, but getting nine rebounds in 17 minutes, that's doing something. Um, and he just needs to continue to do that for us. You know, he, uh, When guys sit on the bench, him and Brandon both, you know, you, you have a tendency to get out of shape a little bit if you don't do stuff on your own. So um, he was fought through it pretty good today and provided a good spark for us. How happy with, were you with the defensive effort today? Uh, 
I was pretty happy, you know. Again, um, they got some guys who really want to um, try to try to make tough and not give certain things. They don't want to give uh, Barnes and, and uh, Jones, uh, the, you know, uncontested threes and do those things and try and keep uh, Sutherland in front of us, who really hurt us at our place. Uh, did a little bit better job. They shot 33 percent, and I know they're not a tremendous shooting team, but you know, we were trying to get better for us today. You know, to get better for us today and look like a team that may have a shot uh, next weekend. Given you taking you pretty close to the wire in both games, what is it about Bradley that uh, gives you guys some trouble? Well, I think they're I think they're pretty good. I know you sit there and look at their record and they're not that, but if they play well, they got a chance to beat you. And, and at our place, uh, they were without three of those guys and, and took us right down to the wire. And, um, Gino's a good coach. Their staff does a good job. They prepare. You know, they, there's you, you, a lot of teams. You got you and I in Wichita in this league and. Everybody else is trying to fight now. Everybody else is pretty similar. You know, uh, uh, something good happens here or there for you. Um, you can get on a little bit of a run. And, and uh, um, I just I just think they're good. You look up and down their roster, and it's not like uh, we're a bunch better than bunch better than them. It's just uh, we've had good games with them. Anything else for Coach? Thanks, guys. Thank you.